Have you ever pondered the turning points of history, the events that shaped the course of nations and the world? Consider the assassination of Yitzhak Rabin, the fifth Prime Minister of Israel. This tragic event not only ended the life of a leader, but also sent shockwaves through the political landscape and peace process of the Middle East. Yitzhak Rabin, a decorated soldier and political leader, was no stranger to the struggles of his homeland. His leadership was marked by a pursuit of peace, a path that led him to sign the Oslo Accords. This peace initiative aimed to end the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, a deeply entrenched issue linked to territorial disputes and national identities. However, this bold move was met with fierce opposition from right-wing conservatives and Likud leaders, who believed it would forfeit occupied territories and endanger Jewish lives. The stage for the tragedy was set on November 4, 1995, at the end of a rally in support of the Oslo Accords in Tel Aviv. As Rabin was entering his car after the rally, he was hit by two shots. The assassin was Yigal Amir, an Israeli ultranationalist who firmly opposed Rabin's peace initiative. Amir believed he was justified in removing Rabin as a threat to Jews in the territories under the concept of Din Rodef, a term used in Jewish law to refer to a pursuer who endangers Jewish lives. Despite immediate medical attention, Rabin ultimately succumbed to his injuries. Amir was arrested at the scene and later confessed to the crime. He was convicted and sentenced to life imprisonment. Over the years, theories have surfaced suggesting a larger conspiracy, but to this day no conclusive evidence has been presented to support these claims. The assassination of Rabin was a pivotal moment in the history of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. The shock and sadness of the event were felt not only in Israel and Palestine, but also in the international community. The act polarized Israeli society, deepening the rift between the left and the right, the secular and the religious, the supporters and the opponents of the peace process. This tragic event weakened the Labour Party, paving the way for the Likud Party, led by Benjamin Netanyahu, to gain power in the 1996 elections. Moreover, it undermined the Oslo Accords, which faced increasing violence and resistance from both sides, and eventually collapsed in the Second Intifada in 2000. In retrospect, the assassination of Yitzhak Rabin was a turning point in the history of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. It marked the tragic end of a leader's life, the shift in political power, and a missed opportunity for lasting peace. This event continues to echo in the annals of history, reminding us of the profound impact of individual actions on the course of nations and the world.